So you want to learn how to add inverse kinematics to your bones in Blender. I'll show you in three easy steps. Step one, remove all bones on the right hand side of the body. You don't have to trust me on this one. Step two, create a bone from the elbow. Clear the parent with Alt P, drag it out, and then create one next to the hand. And also clear the parent. With these two bones, you also want to go down and uncheck deform as we don't want these to deform the mesh when we apparent. Step three, go into pose mode. This can be found in the top left hand side of the screen and go down to pose mode. You're going to want to make sure that all your bones are properly named. So uh, by doing that, I mean by having, you know, upper arm and then at the end dot L because that means uh, that when we symmetrize it, it can go to the right side easily. Cool, on these bones we're going to rename them upper arm ik.l and hand ik.l. Cool, step 3. Now we're going to go to the lower arm bone and go down to this bone constraint tab and click add bone constraint and then inverse kinematics. We're going to set the target to armature and the bone to our hand ik.l. And then we're going to set a pole target to armature and the bone to upper arm ik.l. You might have some funky stuff going on with your hand. If so, you might need to change your pole angle. Mine I need to set to negative 90, but yours might be to positive 90 or 180 or so and so. We're also going to set the chain length to 2. Now if we move around our hand, we can see that it moves everything. But our hand's not really moving uh, on its own. We can't move our hand normally, right? So what we're going to want to do with that is we're going to go select our hand. We're going to go add bone constraint, copy rotation, select target as armature, and the bone as hand. Cool, so now as you can see the hand is doing some funky stuff, we're just going to rotate it back there, and as you can see, we can now move this all around, and we're all good. Now this is actually going to control which way the uh, elbow moves, so that's handy. Okay, but now you ask, Joe, how do I make it do on the other side of the mesh? Well, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go, gonna wanna go into edit mode, select all, right click, and then click symmetrize. It's going to copy over to the other side. We can go edit mode, uh, pose mode, sorry. And as you can see, it copies everything over. And now you can move your person however you want. Cool. This has been a quick tip and I'll see you guys next time.